Okay, this is the morning of the 9th. We've got the, uh, the beams for supporting the axis of rotation attached. We've got uh, a bearing that's an axial and radial bearing. And here you can see we've got some shit. And here's the thrust ring ready to go. We created a method for indicating the center of the drum with reference to the axis of rotation. So basically we've clamped a ball assembly. We've got two bars that reach up to indicators. Because the bearings are adjustable, we're able to use the adjusters. Okay, so one plate has been put in place. You can see both the bushings. Applying the Mowgli's to the inside That's of the spoke there. over the thick Mowgli's. That's why it's getting difficult for him to spin it. There he's it's got it in. pressed in. The axis of rotation. Bruce from Devon Machinery is over here to help us mix up some Mowgli's. Exactly, just fill that gap up so we've got... And we've mounted a milling assembly, or time, pardon me, a... See, we're getting close to finishing a cut here. Up, and he's facing the surface. All the turning on uh, machining operations. The thrust bearing is now bolted on to the rotating drum. So here you see the thrust bearings. A little adjustment of the frame so that the top bearings will fit properly. We are uh, having a look at the spinning drum. We're going to see how Okay, we're now letting her settle out at 102 RPM, two-thirds of the way to our target speed. Go for 150 and we're going to back down. Go for 150. 3.8. Pretty cool. It's actually unbelievable. 